Today on Engineering Newswire, we're highlighting space station benefits to humanity, diagnosing brain injuries with color-changing film, and sailing across the Atlantic in an autonomous ship. Awesome looking. Since 1998, the International Space Station has been a unique scientific platform that has enabled more than 2,400 researchers in 83 different locations to conduct more than 1,700 experiments, all in microgravity. In a new book, ISS Benefits for Humanity 2015, NASA highlights the contributions of this unique lab currently orbiting the Earth. Well, here are three experiments that stood out right away. This is a capillary flow experiment vessel that researches a liquid's ability to spread across a surface and its impact in various container shapes and sizes, all in microgravity environments. The work will eventually allow us to design better fuel tanks and water processing systems for life support. Here's JAXA's dynamic surf investigation that is looking into Marangoni convection, one of the fundamental principles of liquid motion. Understanding the physics will improve research in crystals used for semiconductors and optics. And finally, this is NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg, who is working in the In Space 3 experiment in the Microgravity Science Glove Box. Working in the glove box. In Space 3 applies different magnetic fields to vials of liquids with microscopic particles and observes how fluids can behave like a solid. Results can lead to improvements in strength and design of materials for stronger buildings and bridges. Well, thanks to the reduced gravity environment, we now have new insights into multiple scientific disciplines. By investigating how new technologies operate in space, unexpected discoveries are possible, improving the quality of life for millions of people on Earth. Bomb blasts or rough tackles can inflict serious brain injuries, but the real damage isn't always apparent. The ability to immediately diagnose if someone sustained a brain injury could limit the damage years down the road. A team of researchers from the University of Pennsylvania are tackling this issue head-on with the development of a new material that could be incorporated into headgear to immediately diagnose the severity of blows. The polymer-based material changes color on impact. Although color-changing films aren't new, the researchers wanted to develop a material with a much greater range of detection than what's currently available. They use self-assembling polymers, essentially chains of molecules that bind together under certain conditions, to form crystals that form certain colors. When a force is applied, the internal structure changes, and so does the color. According to the researchers, a 30 millinewton force, which is about that of a sedan hitting a wall at 80 miles per hour, turned the material from red to green. A 90 millinewton force, which is equivalent to a truck hitting the same wall at the same speed, turned it purple. So the same force range can be used for measuring anything from a concussion to a bomb blast and give medics an immediate indicator of potential injury. A few years from now, you may encounter a crewless ship crossing the Atlantic Ocean, but don't freak out. Why? Because the Mayflower will be making its maiden voyage in 2020. Wait, didn't that happen in the 1600s? Well, yes, but this is an updated version. The Mayflower Autonomous Research Ship, or MARS, plans to sail itself from Plymouth, England to Plymouth, Massachusetts. Oh! Oh! Is it to celebrate the 400th anniversary? of the original ship's journey? Exactly. The design of the ship is a collaborative effort involving Plymouth University, autonomous craft specialist M-Subs, and yacht manufacturer Shuttleworth Design. Cool! So it'll run on wind and solar power. Yes. The Trimaran will be about 32.5 meters long and 16.8 meters across with a glass, aramid, foam composite hull and a carbon composite deck. By using one or both of its sails, the autonomous ship will be able to travel at a speed of up to 20 knots. Kaylee? But what about solar? David, let me finish. When there is very little wind, the sails automatically stow below deck, and its solar-powered electric motor will take the ship up to 12.5 knots. So how exactly will it navigate? Well, via a combination of GPS and onboard collision avoidance systems, and in addition to just crossing the ocean, the research ship will be conducting research on renewable energy and drone technology. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.